It is July 13th, 2023, 8.59 p.m., episode 2,197. I should have waited one minute so I could say it was 9 p.m. It's not. Um, no, 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 no. So yesterday I did, uh, yesterday, yesterday three cartoonists were laid off. Three uh, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, political cartoonists. They were let go by their McClatchy newspapers, Jack Oman of the Sacramento Bee, um, Joe Pett. Uh, the Lexington Herald Leader and Kevin Sears of the Charlotte Observer. Um, I'm actually impressed right now that um, Jack has been texting me today because I know he's got like a million people texting him, but he texted me about this cartoon and uh, he wants a copy of it. So I'm sending that out to him uh, on Monday because tomorrow's my CNN day, uh, which keeps me busy. It also means that I'm going to try to draw a cartoon tonight if I can think of the right idea. Uh, for some reason, I had a, a hard time drawing a fat guy. Uh, with the, with the bag head, I don't know. It was just fucking with me. And then after I, I was finally finished drawing it, I thought of another way to do it. But I wasn't gonna go back to it. So I'm yawning. Uh, sorry, yawning, yawn time. It's like uh, time to go to bed. But I'm not going to bed. And um, so but anyway, I just had uh, a more difficult time with that for some reason. And I don't know why. I didn't have any problems with the fruit basket or that many with the vulture. But for that for that fat boss tweed guy, I did. Um, so. This, after I, I get over that part, the rest of the cartoon is pretty easy. That, that's Jack again. That's Jack again. Um, just, if you heard the phone. Um, and that's Jack again. So, um, he's a good dude. He's a good guy. Uh, he's going to be successful. Uh, I, I know all three of them are. Uh, so, I look forward to seeing their work in the future. Uh, I, I wrote a long rant with this one, too. Pointing out all the reasons why I am just the way I am about this business. <laughs> you know? Uh, why I, I feel so protective of it and so concerned for it. Um, it just, I, I just felt like it's in so much trouble and so many people don't care. They don't even want to talk about it. And that bothers me, you know, uh, from so many, there's so many instances, so many examples of stuff that annoys me. I'm not even getting into all of them today because I, I, I'll probably uh, go over my lot of time here. So uh, let's do the shout outs instead. Vona, uh, Sparky Berry, and uh, Sparky Berry gave some stuff over first up every reply. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And Didi Wiss, uh, Master Screen, and Robert Cotino. I think I want to make a cup of coffee because I got some left over from this morning. I, I nuke it, put it in the microwave. No, it's not as good. But I think I might do that anyway. So, so many issues to choose from from my next cartoon. From, you know, Tommy Tuberville to NATO. Um, dude, they're still yelling about the little bag of cocaine in the White House. Mostly Republicans are screaming about it. Probably wondering, why didn't we get any? Um, <laughs> it's just so fucking stupid. Uh, the, the weather, I'm not going to do a weather cartoon, I don't think. It's hot outside. Oh my god, why don't they ever? I was thinking tied into something else, maybe. I don't know. So, uh, I think we are about done. Oh, by the way, McClatchy still owes me, uh, like close to 300 bucks, uh, that they never did pay me. Um, they, they named me in their bankruptcy suit and then they said that uh, they, they said that I and a whole bunch of other debtors never sent them an, an invoice which is bullshit and bonkers in fact they used to even set up an invoice system for me to send an invoice to the system of theirs whatever fuck them McClash you motherfuckers fuck